Greetings from Academia IAPSM eConnect. I am Dr. Rishang Shahi and my co-presenter is Dr. Sahil. We both are postgraduate residents of NSCV Medical College, Jabalpur, MP. Our team, the Health Scoop, proudly presents the 24th capsule of Public Health Update series for January and February 2025. This update is structured into three key segments. First, communicable diseases, covering updates on Zika virus, Gullian virus syndrome, and human metanumovirus. Second, national health programs, covering updates on National Health Mission and Aishman Vai Vandana scheme. Third, public health observance days, covering updates on World Health Day, World Neglected Tropical Diseases Day, and World Leprosy Day. Between January and December 2024, 151 cases of Zika virus were reported from Gujarat, Karnataka, and Maharashtra. While symptoms are mild in most cases, pregnant women are higher risk. Due to possible birth defects in newborns, Zika virus was first identified in India around 1952 through serological evidence, but no major outbreaks were reported till 2017. To combat the spread, health authorities have launched vector control measures, such as spraying insecticides in residential areas, and public health awareness campaigns have been initiated to educate communities on preventive strategies. These include eliminating stagnant water, using mosquito repellents, and ensuring proper sanitation to prevent mosquito breeding. Authorities urged residents in affected areas to take precautions and report any suspected symptoms to healthcare providers immediately. Maharashtra has reported a Gullian virus syndrome outbreak with 225 cases and 12 fatalities as of March 10, 2025. Pune has been the most affected region with 173 cases and Mumbai has recorded its first case. Most cases are seen in young adults aged 20 to 29 years, with additional cases in children and older adults. Investigations suggest contaminated water as potential cause. In response, 30 private water supply plants have been sealed to prevent further contamination. Preventive measures which can be followed are practice good hygiene by washing hands frequently, avoid consuming food from unregulated sources, drink only boiled or filtered water to prevent exposure to possible contaminants. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience muscle weakness or tingling sensations as early intervention is crucial. Public health officials continue to monitor the situation closely and residents are urged to stay vigilant and follow safety guidelines. Two infants in Bangalore recently tested positive for HMPV, that is human metanumovirus. While there is no unusual surge in influenza-like illness or severe acute respiratory illness, this case highlights the importance of respiratory hygiene, especially among vulnerable populations. Both infants received appropriate medical care and were successfully treated. It is important to note that HMPV is not a newly emerging virus. However, its detection has been relatively less in India due to limited use of uh, respiratory panel testing. Greetings. I, Dr. Sahil, shall be continuing with the topic of health program and public health updates. Let's begin with the maternal mortality ratio. The target is to reduce maternal deaths to 87 per 1 lakh live births. The current status stands at 97 deaths, which is quite close to the target. Notably, India has seen an impressive 83% decline in MMR since 1990, reflecting significant progress in maternal health services and institutional deliveries. Next is infant mortality rate. The goal is to bring it down to 22 deaths per 1000 live births. The current rate is 28 deaths, indicating that while progress has been made, there is still a need for continued efforts, especially in neonatal care and early childhood interventions. Now, moving on to under 5 mortality rate, India has achieved a 75% reduction in under 5 mortality since 1990. The global reduction over the same period was 60%, meaning India has outplaced the global average in reducing child mortality. Coming to the total fertility rate, the target is 2.0 has been achieved and sustained which is a major milestone. This is important because this it indicates stabilization of population growth and aligns with long-term demographic goals. Now let's discuss full immunization coverage. Target is to achieve greater than 90% coverage and I am happy to report that the current status is 93.6% which exceeds the goal and reflects strong public health outreach and vaccine delivery systems. Next is communicable disease control milestones. Disease control and elimination efforts under NHM have yielded commendable progress during this period. The target is to achieve an annual parasite index of less than 1 per 1000 population. I am pleased to share that this target has been achieved in 699 out of 710 districts across the country, a significant milestone in malaria elimination efforts. We move on to the dengue. 
the aim here is to keep the case fatality rate below 1%. The current rate is just 0.09% showing the effective clinical management and early detection protocols. Next is lymphatic filariasis. Mass drug administration campaign surpassed its target of covering 159 districts as against the initial plan of 40 districts. Now let's look at Kalajar. The objective is to ensure no endemic blocks report more than one case per 10,000 population. This has been a sustained achievement and we aim to maintain it till October 24 as a part of Kalajar elimination roadmap. Now next is COVID-19. Over 220 crore COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered nationwide under NHM, marking one of the largest public health vaccination drives in the world. Next is TB control and health facility expansion. The fight against tuberculosis continues to gain momentum backed by strong policy and community engagement. The TB incidence rate has decreased from 237 cases per lakh population in 2015 to 195 in 2023. Similarly, the mortality rate due to TB has declined from 28 deaths to 22 deaths per lakh population. Under Pradhan Mantri, TB Mukta Abhiyan, a network of over 1.56 lakhs Nikshamitra have came forward to support and adopt nearly 9.4 lakh TB patients, ensuring nutritional, psychological and social support. Disease Elimination Initiatives under NHM The Sickle Cell Elimination Mission has screened over 2.61 crore individuals to identify at-risk populations and provide early interventions. Next, coming on to malaria, India has reduced malaria deaths by over 95% and there is significant reduction in number of cases. This shows the success of timely treatment, awareness and mosquito control efforts. Next, the MR vaccination campaign achieved an impressive coverage rate of 97.98% moving closer to elimination of these vaccine preventable diseases. Next is Kalajar elimination. The Kalajar elimination success continues to be sustained showing India's commitment to eradicating neglected tropical diseases. Next is digital health and workforce expansion. Additionally, over 12 lakh new healthcare professionals, including doctors, nurses, public health managers, allied workers, have been recruited between financial year 21 to 24 to strengthen last mile service delivery. The UVIN pilot project, a digital initiative to track and manage vaccination events nationally, has been launched, paving the way for real time immunization and data tracking. Next is Ayushman Vivandana scheme. A notable expansion has taken place under Ayushman Bay Vandana scheme, targeting senior citizens with specialized health needs. Medical procedures now covered for eligible elderly individuals include hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis, accelerated treatment for stroke and hypertension, as well as joint replacement surgeries like total hip and knee replacements. Cardiac procedures such as percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty including diagnostic angiograms, single and dual chamber pacemakers, implantations are also covered. The expansion ensures greater financial protection and timely treatment for one of the most vulnerable segments of population. World Health Day celebrated on April 7th every year. The theme for 2025 is Healthy Beginnings, Hopeful Futures. It focuses on improving maternal and newborn health worldwide. The campaign highlights shocking statistics over 3 lakh maternal deaths and 4 million newborn deaths and stillbirths occur every year, with 1 death every 7 seconds. The World Health Organization is taking significant steps forward, supporting every woman, every newborn, everywhere initiative now active in 55 countries working to ensure safer birth and healthier mothers, launching new postpartum care guidelines to ensure mother and babies to get the care they need right after birth strengthening emergency care through mobile clinics, especially in hard-to-reach areas, and investing in midwife training and accreditation empowering frontline health workers to save lives. It calls for investments in emergency ops care, neonatal intensive care, and support premature and low birth weight babies. It also emphasizes indirect factors such as maternal mental health, non-communicable diseases, malnutrition, and growing impact of climate change on preterm births. The campaign encourages policies that support women's long-term well-being through paid maternity leave, access to family planning, and enforcement of reproductive rights. As a part of World Health Day 2025 campaign, everyone is encouraged to take action in four key ways. First is spread awareness by using hashtags such as hopeful futures and health for all 
to amplify campaigns message online second is participate in global and local events to learn what it takes to reduce maternal and newborn mortality third is to donate to the who foundation to support efforts protecting mother and babies worldwide last is share personal stories of pregnancy childbirth or gratitude towards healthcare providers to inspire and build awareness next is world neglected tropical disease day world anti dd day is observed annually on 30th january and theme for 2025 is unite act eliminate entities are called neglected because they primarily affect poor marginalized population and receive little attention funding or research compared to other major diseases globally over 1.5 billion people suffer from neglected tropical disease with india having highest absolute burden of at least 11 entities globally India reformed its commitment by eliminating India Gate in purple and orange a symbolic gesture of unity and awareness common entities in India include hookworm dengue lymphatic filariasis leprosy kalaazar and rabies next is world leprosy day observed on 30th january and this year's theme is unite act eliminate india remains the highest contributor to global leprosy cases with 107851 new cases reported last year Alarmingly 9% of these cases involve children with some reasons showing 14 to 23 prevalence among minors India's new annual case detection rate for leprosy was 5.52 per 1 lakh population a decrease from 9.73 in 2014 to 15 despite past progress leprosy cases are rising due to stigma halted vaccination programs and limited healthcare training to combat this india will roll out revised leprosy treatment guidelines from april 1 2025 that is rifampicin 600 mg monthly clofazimin 300 mg monthly and 50 mg daily dapsone 100 mg daily same for both multi and possi basilary leprosy aiming to achieve leprosy mukt bharat by 2027 with this we conclude the update for the month of january february 25 our team the health scoop comprises of dr sahil and dr rishyank sahi from nscb medical college jabalpur At this point we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our advisors and mentors Dr Akanksha Tomar ma'am Dr Abhishek Kumar sir Dr Swati Sikha ma'am Dr Dipanshi Saxena ma'am and Dr Smriti Narayan ma'am for their valuable inputs constant support and motivation special word of thanks to IAPSM e connect team Dr Basim Ansari Dr Mehta Mathur Dr Archishman Mohan Patra Dr Prag Chauda and dr maltesh undi for their constant support and guidance we would also like to take this opportunity to extend our sincere gratitude to senior iapsm office bearers dr anna rao kulkarni sir dr ashok bardwaj sir dr am kadri sir and dr purushottam giri sir thank you for your time and we hope you all are positively enlightened with these updates the academy iapsm e connect will soon come out with the updates for the next next month Kindly subscribe to our channel Academy IAPSM E Connect and click on bell icon to receive notifications. Till we meet again, stay connected, stay safe.